Hi, this is Becky Nunn with Nunn Design at Fusion Beads. I'm going to show you how you can use transfer sheets on a flat tag to create looks like you're seeing here. We're going to make a piece very similar to this one where it has the word Leo and then we'll have the astrology sign for the Leo on that one. What you'll need for this is you'll need a Nunn Design transfer sheet. You'll have watched already, hopefully, the video on how to mix the Nun Design resin and have that ready to go. And you'll need a couple of flat tags, um, some scissors where you cut out your transfer sheets, and a couple stir sticks and toothpicks. The Nun Design transfer sheets are printed on a film with a paper backing. In order to get this to be transparent, we'll need to drop it into a small dish of water to release the film front from the paper back. Before you do that, just make sure that your design that you're working with is going to fit within the surface that you have and that it's not overhanging on any of the sides of the flat tag. And this little guy is going to be really challenging to pick up, so you might need to have a pair of tweezers to get him in and out of the water. On this one, you just place it right inside of the dish of water and it takes about a minute for the transfer sheet to release from the film, the film front from the paper back. So you'll lay it inside of there and wait for a little bit. I like to do one at a time because otherwise they start releasing all in the paper. The paper in the back split inside of the water so it's just easiest to do one at a time. So let's just focus on this. I like to work on uh, business cards like this because it's easy for me to pick things up and move them around and I can very easily rotate them and see the different angles that I'm working with and that's especially important once you're working with resin. We already have that resin that was already mixed and it's ready to go and we'll be laying a little bit of that down on top of the flat tag first so we'll have some toothpicks and a drizzle stick that we'll be working with. All right, let's see how we are here. And you see how that film is separating from that paper back? It's ready to go. So we'll move that aside and keeping the paper back still in position, just place it down onto the paper towel. I'm wiping my fingers and I'm wiping the excess moisture off of the transfer sheet. Resin and moisture do not get along, so we want to make sure that it is dry, 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 dry. The next step is to drizzle a small amount of the resin onto the flat tag. Just a tiny bit. This is just to create a nice wet surface underneath the flat tag. I'm just moving it around. You can use two cute toothpicks to hold and rotate. I just don't want my fingers to get anywhere near that resin. So I'm just smearing it around onto the piece. This resin is starting to thicken quickly. If you have too much down and I have too much on there, you saw what I did there. I took my, my toothpick and I just rolled it and picked up some of that excess. Now I'm ready to apply my transfer sheet. This is going to feel really awkward when you first start it, but you'll get the hang of it. Place it down and slide the paper away. The film is really fragile, so try to gently move that around. Oh, I'm gonna need that second toothpick again. I'm gonna keep this one in position I'm going to move that transfer sheet up. As the resin starts to um, get older, you have about uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. It depends on the temperature of the room. But as the resin starts to thicken up, its pot life is how they refer to its usage, starts to 
get less and less, and we're getting kind of thick right now. And the cup itself is starting to get a little bit warm. But we're going to continue on. Now we're ready to drizzle more of the resin right over that transfer sheet. It's always best to under pour and continue to add. And as you can see, the Nun Design resin is getting right to that side edge and it'll stop, it's self-doming. But I'm gonna also use my toothpick to help it over to those side edges. When it comes to this whole area, you'll want to be very slow in moving it around so that you don't get any of that resin to drop into that hole. But if it does, I'll show you what to do. I'm just going at all the edges. I'm going to move it a little bit farther away. So just drag it, drag it, drag it. If you get some resin into that hole, what you'll want to do is just slide it to another location. It'll get it on the back, but it'll just be nice and smooth. And you can clean that up but it'll break that tension and the hole will open back up. You can also, at the very end, drill it when it's all hard. You can drill that hole and uh, have a space to put your jump ring through. There you go. And that's how you do it. This is Becky Nunn with Nunn Design showing you how you can apply a transfer sheet onto a flat tag and use Nunn Design resin over the top.